Howdy, Parson Patty here, and I'm just back from the Sunday flea market. Yes, it's cool. a little cool, a little windy out there, but there are many, many vendors and many, many, many people shopping. <laughs> a lot of fun today. Well, I have a few things to share with you, and also... A little bit of iris journaling so come on along just moving some things to the side here make a little room yes I've been working on something I'll share with you after I do my haul so the first item is the biggest item and it is a Vera Bradley tea for one set and apparently, I guess these were sold at Barnes and Noble. I've never seen these before. And it looks like it's brand new in the package. So I checked online and these sell, you know, for around 20 to $30 depending. And, um, yeah, plus shipping. I saw one for about $25 plus $15 shipping, so that would have been $40. And isn't that gorgeous? And I got it for $5 at the flea market. $5 brand new in the box. Kind of a nice box there. I'll have to use that for something for sure. Maybe not the lid. The lid's a little busted up, but the bottom of the box. So I'm going to try to get it out of here in one piece without dropping anything. Here we go. So it comes with this little teapot. Isn't that adorable? Can you say Tea Tuesday? <laughs> Whoops getting stuff in the way here perfect for one cup of tea and a little lid and the mug let me move this very nice I love it this is going to be one of my fave I can tell right now <laughs> I'll be making a tea for one and then I'll sit right on top of there <laughs> beautiful oh and this pattern is called this is the Vera Bradley by Barnes and Noble's Blue Rhapsody pattern microwave and dishwasher safe okay love it love it love it first item I'm gonna wash this out and probably have my afternoon tea with this today Right, I'm going to move that aside for right now, though. <laughs> Not that there's any room here. Okay. So. I have a handful of goodies here to share with you. But backstory first. <laughs> you might remember last summer there was... Oh, my bird clock. It's the afternoon. It's only the red-breasted robin o'clock right now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just back from the flea market. So this is an afternoon video, not the morning dove or evening video. Yeah, so from this vendor last summer, I had a huge haul of scrapbook paper and a couple of other little items. Well, he's back again this year. And, you know, he brings things in these big Rubbermaid tubs. And I was digging through one of them, wondering if he was going to have any more scrapbooking, you know, supplies this year. And, yes, there was one. And I started digging through. There were so many things. But I said, well, let me pick out a handful of items. And I'll wave it at him and, you know, give him a price that I want to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've already bought so much from this vendor. Well, so I was digging and digging and digging. And I was like, oh, I could use this. I could use this. I could use this. I said, oh, this is fun. So I, I got this pile of things and, you know, I held it up to him. <laughs> and I said, um, uh, how about 10 items for $10? And he looked at me. He said, 
Yeah, he says, yeah, you buy so much for me. Go ahead. <laughs> Ten bucks. I said, okay. I quickly handed them the money and walked away. He did not even check to see what I had picked out. <laughs> but like I said, and like he knows, so Possum Patty is getting well known by a certain vendors at the flea market. <laughs> He said, oh, you buy so much for me. He said, go ahead, 10 bucks. I said, okay, well, I think I got the deal of the century here with, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but if I had to pay full price for all these items, it would have been a lot. So the first item is this lime green, it's called Lime Punch, Elements Ink. It's a dye ink for blending and distressing. So quick drying premium dye inks, which are different than the, the other inks. So blending and distressing. So it's probably like, you know, the Tim Holtz distressing inks where you can add a little bit of water to them or spray them or something. So it's sealed shut. So I'm hoping it's not dried out. I have no idea how old it is or what this is worth. I guess I can look it up on my my phone. Okay, I see this on sale here from different companies. Etsy $7.60, Walmart $10.63. So I guess it depends where you buy it from. So mostly I guess seven to ten dollars this would cost seven to ten dollars and they paid well ten items for ten so i paid a dollar for that so i'll have to open that up and see if that is still good probably is i'm hoping it is all right so that's number one and number two look at these little charms these create charms and you're gonna know why i bought this pack of charms I can get the plastic off. My word of the year. Look at that. <gasps> Believe. Believe. Love it, love it. Of course, it, there's a dye charm on here. And this charm is Be the Change. Be the Change. Oh, that's interesting. Be the Change with George Washington stamped in the background, but it says, be the change. Very interesting. These create charms are awesome. I've got a bunch of them, but believe, believe, this is going on one of my journals for this year. Believe, all right, $1 for that. Okay, I found this exact set of charms on eBay for $7.99 plus $5.35 shipping. And I just paid a dollar for it. And these are by Amy Lab Charms with Glass Accents. All right, now this die, isn't that adorable? This die on the back, it says $10. $10. There's a price tag on here, it says $10. It's like, oh my goodness, for this one little die, it is adorable though, isn't it? I ran over to the big shop machine. <laughs> I just had to see what this is going to look like. Pull it off carefully. Oh, it is so cute. Let's see, piece of paper here. A little bird on a branch. Hey, that's adorable. I do not think I would pay $10 for this die. It is adorable. It cuts very well, but I don't think I would have paid $10 for it. And these are by Nellie's Choice. Yes, so I spent $1. For $1, I think it's adorable. For $10, I don't think I ever would have purchased this. All right, stick that in the stack. I'm keeping track here <laughs> of how much everything is worth. <laughs> and then we will see how I made out at the end with my bargains. And look at this little adorable stamp. It's a little mouse with a flower and a hummingbird. And it says, my friend for you. It is so cute. And this is a stamp by Stampendous. 
Well, I opened up the ink, so let's try the ink and the stamp at the same time. Oh, I need a block. Stand by. I took a quick look online. Ooh, I say that was juicy. <laughs> Don't press so hard. They seem to be about $4.99. Does that sound right? $4.99. All right, I probably have to break this one in a little bit. Yeah. Wow, this is super juicy. All right, just a quick stamp with some purple ink, not the distressing kind, just to see how this is going to look. Oh, <laughs> now you can see it. Isn't he adorable? And he's holding the little flower up for the hummingbird. I'll be using this to journal about my hummingbird. Okay. Now, this is $3.99. I'm writing this all down, so I'll add it up at the end. And it is one of those Simple Stories Bliss Bits and Pieces. It might be new. I don't know how many pieces. 48. 48 pieces. It's got letters too. 48 pieces. Nice and springy. One. Oh, look at the umbrella. I need umbrellas for soggy bottom. But this is complete set. So originally $3.99. I got it for a dollar. And this says EK Success. And how springy is this with these sparkly flowers? I don't know what this costs. I'll look it up. I love these colors. They have texture to them and they're sparkly. I found something very similar to this same company and everything for about $2.99. So I'm going to call this one $2.99. And this has a price on it, $3.99, the Paper Studio, Hobby Lobby, La Petite. And usually I don't get fashion, but, you know, something new. <laughs> something new for Possum Patty. I have my Iris Apfel little golden book journal all put together. I'm going to show you. And Iris is all about the fashion. So, I saw these. Well, let me get them. And of course, it's a brand new three dimensional puffy little fashion stickers. $3.99. Let me write that down. $3.99. Maybe you have this all added up in your head already. And oh, and here's another one. <laughs> this is more possum patty style, right? And this must be very old. It says 99 cents. I bet you this is really old. Because you cannot buy stickers like this for 99 cents. Look at these coveralls. It even has the little brass hooks on it. And the straw hat with the sunflower and the little gloves. And the little spade. Garden time. A garden of love. And they've got little dots on the back. Little foamies to stick them down. Where are you going to find something like this for 99 cents? No, you can't. <laughs> no, you cannot find this for 99 cents. So I don't know how much this is worth. Uh, we'll call it, um, what should we call it? Like $3.99, $4.99? I don't know. I think if you went to Michael's to try to buy something like this, it might even be $7.99. And this was by Hirsch, Hirschberg Schultz and Company. Yeah, so if you know anything about this company or these stickers or what you think they're worth, you can let me know below. And I just ran over to the Big Shot <laughs> to use this die cut. Now, this is a rubber necker stamping company frame with curves. And it says $26.95 <laughs> made in the USA. $26.95 made in the USA. I'm hoping it's a really good die. Nice and strong. And this is what it looks like. 
and I thought this would be very cool to do journaling in these spaces because I love to make the letters, you know, that go large, larger and smaller like that. <laughs> Super fun. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to do this. You know what? I have an idea. I might pre-punch a bunch of these in different colors. I have so many scraps. And leave them sitting here and then, you know, grab one when I'm looking for a little piece of paper to do some journaling on. Yes, I love this. I love this. I love this. And $26.95. Would you pay $26.95 for that? I mean, I'm talking a dollar for a dollar. You know me with my dollar item or my dollar one twenty-five items from the Dollar Tree. Yes, I have a lot of fun if it costs a dollar. But I'm going to write down what I say, $26.95. Well, these are adding up. I've got all the prices here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so for $1, this is going to be super fun. Well, the, everything I bought, I think, is going to be super fun for $1. Easily entertained, easily entertained. Now, this has a price on it. It says $4.99. $4.99. I wrote that down, $4.99. And this is Kaiser Craft Australia. Kaiser Craft Australia. Hmm. Okay. That's the that's the company. And it's a six by six. And you know why I bought this one. <laughs> ferns. <laughs> ferns. Yes, ferns. I need a bigger paper. I'm using these scraps that are on the table here. Look at the ferns. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this is very thin. It's almost like the $1 stencils from the Dollar Tree. It might be just a little thicker. It might be a little thicker plastic. Not much. No, not much. Just a little thicker than the Dollar Tree. And they were asking $4.99 for it. And to me, this is this is a Dollar Tree 125 stencil. <laughs> Not a $4.99 stencil. To me, a $4.99 stencil would be about that big. <laughs> oh, it came out nice. I like it variegated. Some some spots are darker, some spots lighter. Yes, so, wow. Very fern-like, very fern-like. Okay, that is it for the flea market items. Now, let me add up what everything would have cost brand new. And the total price, if I had purchased everything new, would have been $73.88. $73.88. I don't know about that, but I think I got a really nice selection here with ink and stamps and charms and metal dies and stickers and die cuts and stencil. Quite a nice variety of items to play with for just $1 per item. This is how I like to craft. Bargains, bargains, bargains. My very last flea market item has to do with Iris Apfel. <laughs> now, I told you the other day that I was working on putting this journal together and voila, here it is all put together. And if you'd like to know how I do my little golden books, I have a whole playlist. I do it many different ways. This way is to have a journaling signature first, and then the complete story intact in the center, and then another journaling signature at the end. And as you can see, I just use some plain paper white and green and pink and blue because this is going to be a glue book and every page is going to be completely covered with a collage. So I figured I just need some plain paper. Well, let's go to the story in the center for just a second. And we are going to flip 
towards the center of the story when Iris is married to Carl and they're traveling around the world buying textiles and she's collecting clothes and accessories. All right, she loved her jewelry. She didn't wear one bracelet. No, she wore like 20 bracelets. <laughs> While other people put on one bracelet or two, Iris covered her arms with them, some inexpensive and some from flea markets. Mm. She also wore layers of necklaces in every length. It took her hours to get dressed, but when she did, people noticed. She just loved to layer everything up well. <laughs> I had to do Iris proud and check out the jewelry vendor at the flea market. Now this one vendor down at the corner, she has piles of jewelry. <laughs> well, she has them all sorted out and, you know, priced out. But then on each end of her booth, she has tables just piled with jewelry. She just dumps them on there and you can spend some time sorting through the necklaces and the bracelets and things. So, you know, I, I figured that, you know, let me channel my iris. And I just stood there for a little bit and, and went through some of the jewels. But then I found something. I said, oh, this is perfect. This is possum perfect. <laughs> I found a bracelet. And here it is. And this is one bracelet, but you know, it's one of those snaky things that coil up so that it looks like it's four bracelets. And I'm figuring, well, this would do Iris proud, right? Look at this. And look at these beads. I love this one. All orange and different shades of teal and turquoise. Some crystal ones in there all different beads and I said ah oh, I've, I've got to get this one <laughs> this is the one that I want because look at the cover with the oranges and the teals and then the material that I put on the edge well this is definitely going to be part of the tassel now this has to have a tassel right you know because she loved all these big fluffy furry clothes and all these beads and jewels and gems. So I'm thinking a great big fluffy tassel on here full of wonderful flea market beads. <laughs> this is going to be super fun. So this is the beginning of the collection for her tassel. All these beads will be on the tassel. The flea market bracelet beads. <laughs> Well, that concludes the flea market portion of this video. But if you would like to hang around for a few minutes, let's do a glue book page in Iris's journal.